Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. Welcome back to the show. We are joined live here today by Dr. Stephanie Bathurst. Excited to have her here. Uh, she's amazing. Uh, as a, oh my goodness, a husband, wife, I'm reading all your stuff. Wait a second. You've been together with your husband since 2016, since the college days. Uh, there's a lot to get to know with our doctor friend here, and we're going to talk about the therapy she does. She's a sexologist. There's a clin she's a clinician and so much more. Welcome to the show today. How are you? I'm doing well, Jill. Thank you so much for having me. Dr. Stephanie Bathurst, please tell us a little bit about yourself. I mean, there's a lot to your notes. So where did you want to start? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I think it's I mean, important to find out what type of doctor you are, right? And then we'll go back a little bit. So tell me what you do specifically today and how you can help our listeners. Sure. Yeah. So I am a clinical sexologist. Um, I'm also a marriage and family therapist. I'm licensed in Hawaii, Florida, Virginia, and Maryland. Uh, but I'm also a certified life coach and certified integrative medicine specialist for mental health, which means I can offer relationship sex and health coaching to clients in all the other states and countries across the world, which is pretty beautiful. Cool. Also, she's a holistic healer. She's got, wears many hats. <laughs> and many, I think it's important that we get to know you a little bit. Where did you grow up? Uh, and give us a little bit of your life journey. What brought you here to this career path? Sure. So I grew up uh, kind of outside of Philadelphia, the Western parts of Philly. Um, and I kind of always knew that I wanted to be a therapist, which is odd because I don't recall ever seeing one in person when I was younger. Mm -hmm. uh, I have this sixth grade yearbook and the bio said that I wanted to be a clinician, um, which is so funny. Uh, so, I mean, I, I, I love human beings. I'm always interested in relationships and I have been since I was younger. Um, I think everybody's kind of like a really interesting puzzle to solve and they're, they're always adapting, always changing. And as I grew older and kind of refined my studies, relationships, romantic relationships just continue to become my, my niche, my preferred demographic to work with. And yeah. lucky you. So tell us about your husband. You also have a daughter, right? I do. Yeah. And how did you so, get to Hawaii? Wait, <laughs> am I jumping the gun? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, my husband and I have been married since 2016, but we've been together, I think, uh, it's 14 years now. Um, so my daughter is two and a half. We actually, we had her when we were over visiting Hawaii. Um, and it, we just, we knew that we wanted to be over there. That is our happy place. We've developed a really wonderful friend group out there. Um, and she is just an outdoor kind of kid. She absolutely loves the water and, uh, bugs and kids and play. So I think she's just gonna, she's gonna love life here. Oh, wonderful. Well, yeah. thank you for being here. I want to remind everyone the website is bathurstfamilytherapy.com. That's B A T H U R S T familytherapy.com. And uh, we're going to talk today again about, well, the work that she does because she offers, I mean, relationships are everything. And uh, you're working with couples together, apart. Um, and I think every couple has, we all have our own set and share of issues. And it's important to know that uh, you also are very open to talk about sex sexuality, which are things that some people might feel uncomfortable talking about, not me, but how yeah. do you, you know, tell me some of the situation, give me some examples of the clients and some issues that people can maybe empathize with here on today's show to say, sounds like me, I, I need some help in that area. Yeah, absolutely. Um, from my perspective, it, it's really a disservice to work with the system, the coupledom, and not bring sexuality and intimacy into the mix because it's such a huge domain of relationships. Um, so presenting issues that I'm, I work with pretty heavily, uh, infidelity repair, any kind of resentment repair, uh, sexual fulfillment or libido incompatibility. If, if organically partners are just very, very different in their styles or preferences, um, any kind of kink or polyamorous ethical non-monogamous structures. I work really well with, um, any kind of pelvic floor instability or trauma recovery after childbirth. Uh -huh. um, I'm able to reprogram and kind of help heal things like that. 
Now, speaking of childbirth, right? When you, a relationship totally changes after you have kids. Now, Absolutely. you know this. Can you now you know from firsthand, right? Because a lot of people are everything's fine and good, and then also when the kid comes, and then that relationship, you you bond with your child, and then I've know a lot of people, and a lot of the husbands or partners feel you know there's no time for me anymore. They're pushed away. They're shunned because now there's a child. How do you handle that situation? Because the truth is, as a mother, we are more maternal to take care of our little baby, but there's also that need for a man and he kind of feels sometimes shut out yeah there's such complexity to that dynamic um so statistically the first seven years of a child being within um uh, you know the family system is the most critical point in the marital relationship right like that's the most vulnerable period of separation or intimacy intimacy distance or you know highest probability of divorce so we really want to make sure that we are prioritizing quality time together. Um, and if if there has been a lot of physical trauma uh, to body during childbirth or cesarean section, um, we, we want to be prioritizing that. I think those kinds of experiences aren't talked about enough. Unfortunately, the expectation is just, you know, take three to six weeks off of work for the woman and just expect to come back and accommodate everything. And this is a huge trauma on the body um, and really deserves the attention that is needed for recovery. Yeah. Well, let me ask you, you mentioned you have an evidence-based 90 day program. Could you talk about that? What that is in particular? Sure, yeah. So the 90 day program is for both individuals and partners, multi partner uh, relationships or um, traditional uh, coupledoms, right? And this is a hybrid program that offers 30 virtual sessions that are pre videoed. So you can kind of watch them at your own convenience, as well as one to one therapy sessions, live sessions with me that are totally personalized, group calls, community support. Um, at home toolkits and exercises. So it's like a total overhaul if your if your relationship has kind of like lost its energy and and pizzazz. Um, or if you're really looking to reconnect with yourself intimately and better understand your relationship dynamics. So the program itself is called the Flow Formula. It's pretty awesome. Awesome. And you also mentioned that there's a lot of different workshops as well. You offer even a five day retreat. Yes, in Hawaii. It's amazing. <laughs> what so, type of retreats and workshops are we talking about? Yeah, so it's kind of an advanced build on from the flow program. Okay. Um, so it heavily focuses on physical intimacy, emotional intimacy, and sexual intimacy. And it's a really perfect blend of work and play because half the day is spent in really intensive workshops with me. And then the other half of the day for each day that you're there is like really fun excursions from a guy uh, that's local in Hawaii. So the workshops are libido rejuvenation, uh, resentment repair, somatic body work that focuses more on like tantric techniques, uh, introduction to kink, holistic health for individual healing, uh, mindfulness and meditation and arousal amplifiers. Those are kinds of like workshops that we integrate. Awesome. Wow. You offer a variety of things. Okay. Got to ask about uh, you in particular as a practitioner, what would you say makes you uh, unique? Uh, I would say a lot of things. Um, Probably my eclectic approach, right? So I'm going to bore you for a moment and just kind of go through some of them. (laughs) So uh, I think blending the holistic and traditional therapy models is really important because it allows me to kind of meet with every client one-on-one and evaluate from their preferences, their past experiences, their personality, what is going to be good and like efficacious for them, uh, what styles are going to be helpful. And I can implement Gottman methodology, emotion-focused couples therapy, mindfulness, meditation, supplements, because I'm an herbal provider. Um, an herbal medicine provider, uh, light therapy, pelvic floor reconditioning, CBT, attachment healing, somatic reprocessing, narrative therapy, kind of all that jazz, depending on what fits. You mentioned pelvic floor reconditioning. I mean, Mm -hmm. for someone here, I have a six and an eight-year-old, right? So both times, I basically, no one told me when I was going to have a baby that, oh, you could possibly experience prolapse. 
huh? What's that? Oh yeah, your cervix is hanging out. Oh yeah, your uterus is hanging out. What is going on? A lot of women, I'm, I'm just shocked. None of my friends and family told me this could happen. Then the stress of pushing a baby through the canal, what all the damage it could do, mm -hmm. let alone then how that affects you for months, years later. And, um, you know, with, um, you know, I was, oh my gosh, my bladder was weak. I was always having accidents for months and I had to go to the doctor and do the, all those Kegels and that it was just rough, but that is something that's huge. And, uh, you know, and maybe a lot of men don't understand that as well. Right. Cause they think, okay, you're fine. After a few months, let's go, let's go back to bed. No, not every woman could do that. Right. 100%. I mean, I, I frequently have clients come in and they're just like breaking down in tears Yeah. and, uh, okay. So I'll have a client come in in tears and, and say, I just, I can't get across to my husband or to my partner, how exhausted by the end of the day I am at holding my organs inside my body. I can't sit down on the couch and watch a, a movie with him because sitting rather than laying down, right? Like it's, it, the gravity pushes everything down. It's uncomfortable. It's work. For your body to hold encapsulate everything in because your body isn't doing it on its own anymore mm -hmm. um and it's exhausting right if you think about your connective tissue not doing its job anymore that you have to actively like clench everything in to keep it inside your body it's exhausting and i think because because this this stuff isn't talked about and because most partners aren't able to like comprehend or understand that. what that yeah. feels like. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really difficult. So Pilates is something that can work. I mean, statistically speaking, most, most people experience 80% change within the first 28 days and it's wow. non-surgical, no medications. Um, it's, fantastic. Well, you're a certified Pilates instructor. I was going to ask what yeah, that is. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that terminology and maybe some of our listeners don't either. So tell me the process of Pilates and as an instructor, what are some of the things that you teach uh, for women to do to help empower themselves to feel better and to work on these muscles? Well, I never heard of that. Yeah. Yeah. So there are specific movements that activate the pelvic floor mm -hmm. muscles, right? If there's a group of muscles, it's yeah. not just um, it's not just like your inner thighs that you're activating. There's muscles in the back, there's muscles in your transverse abdominis, right? Mm -hmm. Um, so it's, there are specific movements that activate specific muscles and you only need to choose between two to four that really work for you. You don't need to do all eight. Okay. Um, so we'll, we'll, we would go through them. We would choose the ones that work best for your body and you do them typically around three times a week for um around five repetitions okay. and that's it right it's really manageable you you don't need me to do it with you every single time we just have you know check-ins i teach it with you once we have check-ins after that but it's self-guided um non-medicinal non-surgical you can usually prevent surgery this way uh it's pretty phenomenal Wow. And this, by the way, you could do this work virtual by teaching someone all these 100%. techniques. You can do awesome. it at home. And yourself. what is, you mentioned uh, narrative therapy and CBT. What is that? So narrative therapy is using your own truth, your own storyline to help um, empower yourself for change. Or if you feel, uh, if we have had trauma in the past and we're wanting to kind of retell that story so that we can, um, uh, ameliorate some of the negative ramifications of past pain moments. And then CBT is cognitive behavioral therapy. Got so it. Changing, yeah. Changing some of our thought patterns to affect change in the, in the uh, behavior and emotion. All right. Great. Also, let's talk about um, you as a holistic practitioner for mental health. Could you tell us more about that? Sure. Yeah. So I'm a certified nutritionist uh, for mental health and integrative medicine specialist for mental health. And uh, this kind of, it's comprehensive, right? So for people who either have, have tried psychiatric medications and have gone through the gamut and are just like done with it because their body has been put through the ringer and they can't do it anymore, or they are on medications and they're looking for a conjunctive additive to like, to help supplement, right? Um, I'm very open and encouraging of collaborating with uh, other providers. So if, 
you know, I, I'm very familiar working with psychiatrists as well, but red light therapy, mineral and, nu and nutrient supplementation, acupressure techniques, mindfulness, um, herbal supplementation, specifically nervines and adaptogenic herbs for like nervous system regulation, um, things like that. So aromatherapies, okay. um, it, it's kind of like a blend of things that can help uh, man maintain and manage mood disorders, ADD, um, anxiety, things like that. Awesome. Great. And yeah. what are some of the people, um, you know, do you serve your work with? Um, would you mind sharing anywhere from adolescents to couples, adults? Who do you serve? Yeah. So uh, I serve adults. So any anywhere from 18 all the way up to 90s. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I work with some pretty diverse populations. I work really heavily with the kink and, and polyamorous communities. I also my previous location, office location was in the DMV area. Uh, Maryland, Virginia area, yep. heavy like government Mecca. And now I'm in Oahu, which is also a heavy military Mecca. So I work really, really well with government and military family dynamics. I'm also a trauma informed clinician. Um, so uh, any kind of clients who, who have histories with PTSD or complex PTSD. Um, yeah, those, those are kind of the, the demographics that I specialize with. And by the way, where did you go to school? Where did you get your degree from? Sure. Yeah. So I went to Towson University, which is where I met my husband. Awesome. Yeah. And then I got my master's at LaSalle in Philadelphia mm -hmm. and my PhD at the International Institute for Clinical Sexology down in Miami. Beautiful. All right. And you mentioned, so as a young girl, you always knew you wanted to be a therapist, which is amazing that you wrote that down so many years ago. We kind yeah. of talked about that before and here you are doing what you're doing. What was the path to get here though? So you thought about it when you were younger and was it always instilled in you and you went right to, that was your first major in college? Yeah, I went right through. I actually wow. graduated a bit early from my uh, from all my programs because I knew exactly what I wanted to do and that there was a lot of education to be able to do it. So, yeah. well, was there yeah. any obstacles along the way or things smooth sailing? <laughs> always obstacles, right? Life, life is always a little bit rocky. Um, I think I think it was more just responsibility that comes with like owning, building a business and the extensive education, right? There's sacrifice that comes mm -hmm. from responsibility. And um, I that was something that I chose. I don't I don't have any any regrets. I'm here. I love what I do. I'm very proud of myself and my past. Um, and I there a lot of the choices that I made uh you know, there, there were some sacrifices there. I think I remember being a freshman in college and having all of my friends uh, get houses at the beach and just kind of like live life, enjoy it. And I was taking every single day an hour long, very hot train ride into Center City, Philadelphia to work for free at a sexual assault clinic um, for my summer uh, during freshman year. And that was kind of my like first uh real stepping stone into uh being a being a you know a sex therapist mm -hmm. and I'm really grateful for that but you know there there was sacrifice there as well so I'm wow. appreciative for that moment wow that's awesome and yeah. you mentioned uh, the relationships and connection you say are most important and you said you need to participate in something that is meaningful so you say people are most hurt and healed by relationships so that's where you devote your work to I never looked at it that way. Yeah. Yeah. 100%. Um, I think it's really important. It's important for me to give my attention and effort just because there's, you know, there's a finite commodities. You only have so much. I want to give it to something that is deeply meaningful and what's more meaningful to us as human beings than other human beings. Right. So true. It is. And just remind everyone, uh, Dr. Stephanie Bathurst is joining us here live today on the show. Tell us uh, your website, phone number, social media pages, any way we can contact you before we continue. Yeah, Thanks. sure. Uh, BathurstFamilyTherapy.com. You can contact us at 215-501-7452. We have LinkedIn, um, uh, Instagram, Facebook, you're welcome to contact us in any of those forums. We also have uh, our 90 day program, which you can find at flowenergyformula.com. Awesome. And any mentors growing up that you looked up to or anyone in the family or a friend? 
Uh, I had many and few mentors, which is a complicated response. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I mean, I, I definitely saw like the strength of my mom, who was a single mom with three kids. She was amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, and in the people around me, I, I viewed a lot of independence and intelligence and loyalty, which are very, very high values for me. And uh, I have great like inspiration and appreciation for whenever I see those things in other people. But I always had a really difficult um, time finding a mentor because I found that formal mentors tended to offer one singular specialization in one like area. And I could never really commit to one. I tended to flutter around uh, in learning and training in many different areas. And I eventually found out how special it is to have a really eclectic approach and to wanna learn in so many different areas. So there, there was a, um, a supervisor, a clinical supervisor that I had early in my career, Rob. He was very, very direct, um, which at the time felt really challenging for me, but he pushed boundaries. And I really appreciate that now because it taught me, um, it taught me so many lessons about who I wanted to become as a clinician and how I needed to change in order to transform into her. And I did. So that was kind of amazing. Oh, and you kind of already talked before about your start. You say it was back in city center when you're working with those adolescents and trauma with the children. Uh, that was my, or is yeah, that one of, one of my starts. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Okay. Now I'm just going through your notes. If you want to uh, elaborate more on that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I also worked with, uh, I, I worked in a residential facility for children and adolescents treating advanced sexual trauma. Mm -hmm. um, that was kind of my real, like my first real start coming out of my master's program and very important work, but man, is that a really, really heavy space. And I burnt out really, really quickly because there's so much trauma and so little power. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I, I still do a lot of the same work as I was doing there, uh, attachment healing, trauma and sexual assault recovery, relationship reconnection, uh, nervous system regulation. I just transitioned now to you know, focusing on adults and my specialty evolved to be a bit more niche, uh, working with like ethical non-monogamy and romantic partnerships, kink dynamics, things right. like that. Can I ask what kink dynamics is? Sure. Um, it, it's kind of all encompassing. So any kind, uh, if you think of vanilla sex, anything that goes beyond vanilla. Sex. So we're talking multiple partners, whether it's females, males, anything like that, right? Uh, yes. BDSM would okay. fall into that realm as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Good to know. So you are yeah. open to anyone uh, to work with and clearly you have a lot of experience. So let me ask you also, um, what would you say being a competent uh, professional, would you give anyone some words of wisdom or quotes or passion to tell them how to follow their own dreams as well? Uh, I would, I would. Yeah. I mean, I think, I think so many people get caught up in the expectations of society and what what they're supposed to do in order to find happiness, mm -hmm. which is why I tend to have a lot of middle-aged uh, people seek me out feeling miserable that they have achieved a lot of um, like these standard milestones of midlife, but are miserable because it wasn't congruent with what actually, um, you know, with with their personality, with their needs, with their core value systems. So I think I would just recommend to find your happiness and purpose in life. Decisions of change should be very much guided by your own intuition. And intuition is simply um, an awareness of your bodily sensations and emotional and emotion in response to situations. So be guided in a way that opens your mind up to what your body is communicating. And when you receive these communications, you know, you'll know whether a path is offering you satisfaction or not so much. Um, major life decisions should be based on your unique interests, personality yeah. and value system. 
Good. And Dr. Stephanie uh, Bathurst, again, you can find her profile on Psychology Today, uh, also on the National Coalition for Sexual Freedom. She mentioned earlier, I know we're going to have many more shows. We'll talk more about these yeah. couples retreats in uh, Oahu. Oh my goodness, exciting stuff. And also if someone, you know, does want to reach out to give you a call, you can also go right to the website though, Bathurst Family Therapy. And you said you could be your own intimacy expert and embrace flow, right? Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Energizing your relationship, unlocking barriers, as well and uh, work with the whole system for clients. Can you share a little bit about uh, mostly you get you the initial consultation, right? And that's, you offer that to everyone. Yeah. Free consultation for everybody. Awesome. Absolutely. Um, and we, in the program, we delve into all eight forms of intimacy. So physical, psychological, emotional, experiential, social, sexual, creative, and intelligent. Awesome. So, we unblock those. Yeah. Well, we are looking forward to uh, getting to know you further. And by the way, don't forget the retreats. Are they singles retreats or married couple retreats or cup or like boyfriend, girlfriend or girlfriend, girlfriend retreats? Is it singles, individualized? What, what type of uh, retreats do you offer? They are romantic retreats. So it doesn't, oh. have, you don't have to be married. You don't necessarily okay. have to be like a defined couple, but they are for romantic or sexual partners. So you got me thinking of Vince Vaughn and couples retreat, anything like that. <laughs> <laughs> a great movie, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> So again, for clinical therapy, for coaching, she also does that integrative medicine. There's so much more to you and uh, we'll get to know each other the next few weeks we speak. Also that flow formula 90 day hybrid program she offers and Pilates. I, she taught me something new today and I hope many of you, because a lot of us do have problems down there, uh, the pelvic floor area that now I'm cured for now, right? Until I get into surgery, but I've been okay. Um, but it's great to know you are so versatile. You help so many people. Let me just ask, what in particular do you love uh, about your job and how you're helping people? Uh, I love my job because there's always something new every single day. I like the challenge and the complexity of the nuances of every single person and every single relationship. I, I like to be challenged. I don't like to feel bored by like the same day feeling, yeah. you know, repeated. So I like complex cases. I, I enjoy the challenge. I think it's fantastic. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much yeah. for being here, for joining us today. Uh, remind us one more time how we can reach out to you directly, please. Thank you. Sure. You can reach out to me at help at bathersfamilytherapy.com at flowenergyformula.com. Um, our phone number is 215-501-7452. And I look forward to hearing from you. Great. Thank you so much. Pleasure to have you. And uh, looking forward to the next time we connect. Enjoy the beautiful weather. I'm in cold New York right now. Uh, uh -huh. Wishing I was on the beach in Oahu. It's, are you in Oahu <laughs> or Honolulu? Uh, I mean, Oahu is the island. It is. So, uh, okay. Thank you. All right. For clarifying <laughs> yeah. it for me. I've never been, obviously, or else I would know my stuff. Have well, a great day. <laughs> well, thank you so much. I <laughs> got a six and eight year old. Uh, that would be uh, fun. <laughs> have a great day. Thank you. Are you looking for even more of the podcasts and hosts that you love? The Podcast Business News Network is proud to announce that you now have even more ways to listen live. Check out the MyTuner Radio, Online Radio Box, and Simple Radio apps on iOS and Android, or find us online. Search for Business News Network on MyTuner-Radio.com, or search Podcast Business News Network on Streama.com and OnlineRadioBox.com slash US. Take your podcasts on the go and don't miss a minute of the action. Broadcasting from the business capital of the world, this is the Podcast Business News Network. For nearly 2,000 severely injured veterans, everyday life has become filled with barriers. Day-to-day -day simple tasks can become pretty daunting. I have to carry my chair up two flights of steps or have somebody do it for me. What scares me the most is just the falling. When I'm struggling with my house, I think, you know, to have that one great barrier just knocked down, I mean, it's... It's crucial. Home for Our Troops is a wonderful nonprofit that builds a mortgage free, fully adaptive, handicap accessible house, and there's no catch. It'll be our very first home that we've ever owned. This is a game changer. This is where your life begins again. We need you to join us in completing this important mission. Please visit hfotusa.org and help build homes and rebuild lives. Because of you, everything's it's going to be okay.